Where are you, Matt? Patrick! Hey, there you are. What's hey. up? Matt. Matt Hall. Matt Hugh. Matt Skadida. Matt a tat tat. My main Matt. The Matt in the hat. Well, how about that? Somaticus hallway of the Northumberland hallways. Let's solve this Matt equation. Matthew Broderick. Summon the armies. We may attack at dawn. You done? Not yet. I've got one more. Okay. Um, you, you, this club is where it's Matt. Yeah, okay. I'm done now. Okay. Thanks so much for uh, seeing me at such short notice. That's it's really cool of you. Yeah, no worries, man. You sounded really worried on the phone. Is everything okay? Maybe, uh, maybe not. Um, listen, Matt, you might have noticed this morning a package uh, on your front doorstep had been. Oh, delivered. I, I actually haven't had a chance to check. Thanks for reminding me. I was going to. No, check. no, no. Actually, you don't even need to check. The, yeah, you're. you're I'm gonna check. Thank you. Shoot. You realize it was so popular. Yeah, that's like a big case too. All right. Yeah. So um, you might not want to even open. The, oh, okay. He's he's doing it anyway. I got it. I got it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, DVDs. I love it, man. Yeah, uh, Matt. So here's the thing. Uh, you're gonna want to throw that away like as soon as possible. Just DVD? just get rid of it. Why would I? Why would I get rid of this? I love movies. I love. Uh, so here's the thing, Matt. Um, I think one of my enemies may have sent you that DVD. Uh, while they were trying to send it to me. Why would they send you? Why well, would they send me something that they're trying to send to you? Well. Probably because they think that your address is my address. I, I don't I don't follow. Why why would anybody think that your address is my address? Well, Matt, be reasonable. They're my enemies. I was hardly going to give them my address. So you gave them my address. Uh, that's not important. We don't have to talk about that right now, okay? The point oh, right. is that DVD you have right there, it has a curse on it, okay? If you watch that movie, you will die in exactly one week. One week. Yeah. So it's like the ring, basically. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's exactly like it. That it's it's this is a the ring situation. So you cannot watch that movie at all. Okay, just just throw it out the window. Then it becomes the streets problem. Okay, a uh, couple couple things about that. Um, first off, how do I die in seven days? Ah, uh, okay. So you know that thing where you go into the shower and like you're you're closing your eyes to put the shampoo in your hair. Yeah. And then you, you get that irrational thought of okay. What if there's some really horrible, scary thing uh, standing in the shower with me, waiting to get me the second uh, that I open my eyes? Okay, well, it's exactly like that, only this time there actually is something there, and yeah. it scares you so badly, you shit yourself to death. I shit myself to death. Yeah, yeah. And actually, now that I think about it, instead of being in the shower, you might actually be in a very public place where there's plenty of people watching. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. The important thing is just... Ignore the movie. Do not watch it at all. Don't watch the movie. That's the main takeaway I want you to take away from this. All right. Well, that's kind of a bummer because, like, you know, I, I'm i always interested in watching a movie that I've never heard of. What movie is this, though? That's my, that's my, my question. That's my big uh, question. I mean, you know, it's one of those hard-to-pin-down genre types. It's kind of like a blend of a lot of them. I think the easiest way to describe it would be a comedy, drama, romance, thriller, horror, sci-fi, western, neo-noir, art house, independent, big budget blockbuster. You know, one of those. So all my favorite genres just in one ice cream sundae of magic. Oh yeah, I didn't think of it like that. How long is this movie anyway? Like, does this have any like... I think this the version you got was the director's cut, so it's got like um, 30 more minutes of footage. I think that totals out to about, yeah, three hours total. It's got some great extra little bits in there. I think the bits they cut out from like the first edit really make the plot flow a lot better. So you yeah, know, a lot of the character developing uh, gets included in there. It makes a lot more sense than, than the first cut. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is the director's cut, but then it also came with the original. So if, if hypothetically so you can, you can speaking, contrast and compare them, yeah. Exactly. Like I could watch the original and be like, oh, I would have loved a little bit more of this character development and then hypothetically I could watch the director's cut afterwards and then exactly. be like, like oh I wow mean, look at that yeah ideally you would have to watch them like immediately afterwards like watch them back to back because you've only got like a week 
uh, exactly after yeah either of them you can't like put it off that being said so if i watch the if i watch it once i die in seven days correct that's correct yeah okay so if i watch it twice does that mean it's gonna would it would it still be seven days do i get like because i watched it do I get like an extra seven days? Is there like I, an extension? I wouldn't or? think so. I, I don't really know how curses work. I mean, I don't know how this curse works specifically. Yeah. The I, I wouldn't think, I think if anything, it would shorten the time. Like if that's you watch what I'm it, thinking you get too. like three and a half days, maybe. Yeah, because that's that's what I'm worried about, about the, the shortening of the time. I mean, like, I'm not going to watch the movie. Of course, you're not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch the movie. You, you shouldn't watch it. But hypothetically speaking, if I were to watch the movie, like, what would be the best way to go about it? And then also, too, like, if it did extend it, then, like, hypothetically speaking, I would only ha- I would just have to watch this movie once a week for the rest of my life. And if it's really, really well done, I mean, that doesn't sound so horrible if it like extends, but I don't okay. know. I don't know. I just want to make sure. Matt, I'm, I'm going to stop because I, I can already tell you're, you're getting pulled into the, I can see you getting excited. I want to reiterate, you should not watch this film. Okay. You're right. It'd be very dangerous. You would have like one week left to live and then you would shit yourself to death in the most embarrassing way possible. Yeah. Okay? It's not yeah. worth, I mean, I have heard from several of the reviews that it has really, change the life of the people who've seen it but i can't watch the movie obviously you can't That's... watch the movie okay of it's course. it's a shame but i mean you would die you, you're not you're you not gonna die do right it's just weird that you know they would curse a dvd i've never heard of that it just it sounds like it, i feel targeted a little bit okay well it's not like it's not like that at all you know it's more common than you think yeah you know I'm, yeah i wait a minute ryan gosling is in this uh, yeah, yeah, he is in that. I think he's part of the main cast. I haven't seen it myself because, you know, I, I would die. Yeah. But I've read a few of the reviews online. Apparently, uh, Gosling's supposed to be pretty good in that, you know? They said this performance harkens a lot back to uh, his earlier stuff, like with the, the notebook and all those. So he gets to, like, be romantic and vulnerable at the, at the same time, you know? Like, strong but soft. Yeah. Oh, man, I... Okay, well, th- that's that's kind of a bummer because I really like I really like Ryan Gosling. Were the Safdie brothers involved with this? Because I'm reading the back of it and it's saying that the Safdie brothers were involved in this. Oh yeah, Saf- Safdie brothers were all over this. Yeah, they did really uh, good stuff in there. Like how's the cinematography? Is the cinematography amazing? I mean, according to the reviews, the cinematography was, and I'm not overusing this word, transcendent. Like the way it sort of penetrated into the uh, the minds and perspectives of the characters so the audience could inhabit them and really feel what they were feeling. Like, honestly, just the way they describe it, it feels like I'm, I'm already there. Oh, my God. I mean, it's going to kill you in seven days. So does it even really matter, like, what's going on with it? I, I mean, I'm here's the thing, man. You know me. I love to watch a movie that I've never heard of. You know, I know, like, about every... Most movies out there, I, I've heard of, but when one comes that along, that is kind of your thing, yeah. Yeah, like uh, it's a mystery, and it's supposed to be really good. Like, of course, I want to check this thing out. I mean, I think it's supposed to be okay. It's got like a uh, few really neat direct directors in it. You ever heard of that Christopher Nolan guy? I, I think he's on that. Christopher Nolan? Well, he's like a co-director next to Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese and Christopher Nolan collaborated on a movie together. Yeah, I mean. If I'm being really honest, uh, I think a lot of people were worried that they were going to clash, you know, like co-directors do sometimes with their creative visions. But it actually came together really well as a collaborative uh, piece. And their visions really sort of like intersected in a very natural way that didn't feel forced and and really like came off quite well. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's really frustrating too because like like it, like the cast is in, like Ethan Hawke is in this Vince Vaughn is in this Adam Sandler is in this yeah it's it's a pretty star studded stacked uh, cast yeah I've heard that Ethan Hawke plays a painter with three legs and uh, five arms oh, you would think that the prosthetics like you know hinder his performance but he actually uses them in a really creative way uh to like express more of his character it adds a lot of layers honestly he's an octopus of magic and and angel dust like i i love you i mean he's that regularly he's an octopus of angel dust and magic but in this he literally is a an octopus of angel dust and magic and i kind of want to see that i really want to see that but i can't obviously because it will kill me yeah yeah. seven days that's that's the main takeaway okay that's the main main thing we're driving at here okay although 
the, the, the you said there are reviews online are they are they like oh this movie sucks like waste of time or are they like what? uh i mean I'm, I'm sure there are a few of those out i haven't read any that frame it in quite those words what what's the general consensus out of the reviews that you've read uh well just based off the ones i read it's sort of along the lines of um oh wow this movie totally changed my life god such a good film um totally worth the limited seven days i'm gonna have left really uh that's a pretty big absolutely statement. transcendent performances uh the directors were all fantastic it's gonna kill you if you watch it you, you're not gonna i, I mean that's that's yeah. not worth any I performance understand. i mean even though i've heard that you know adam sandler does a really good job in this one really yeah yeah apparently he plays a pirate it's a performance that has to be seen to be believed <sighs> their words not mine best of his career somehow even better than uncut gems what fantastic wow but, but don't watch it don't it's I, not i'm not going to but you're making it really hard life. you're telling me you're telling me these amazing things i'm looking at the cast the fucking like david Duchovny is in this yeah it says absolutely transcendent performance from what i've heard he milks that audience for all it's worth it's absolutely yeah. gorgeous and it said that he wrote the screenplay he did the soundtrack he produced the movie and he stars in it like he got his finger in all these different pies it's amazing yeah. the versatility he showed he's done great on other projects but his multitude of talents really i've heard comes together in this piece he oh, just man. sings like a bell of creativity and imagination but it, don't watch it do it's not hard watch because i've back. been on a i've been on a Duchovny kick okay i saw that rom-com he did with mini driver and then i started watching californication and i think uh, i i'm thinking hey david Duchovny, why won't you love me why won't you love me david Duchovny? that is going to make this so much harder for you because like now you'll have to go the rest of your life having seen all and you can't see his best stuff yet that is that is just it's bad it's bad mate okay i could also like wait until i'm like 80 and then what and until it's like i'm going to die and then watch it i mean you could by then everyone will be like done talking about it i feel like it'll just be like that one thing they bring up every now and then at the oscars like probably every year at the oscars actually like if i'm being and i won't be able to the understand reviews it. have been very descriptive it's like they have been raving about this for like weeks i mean i know the people who've seen it have only lived like one week later until they like die horribly yeah. and agonizingly but they have been raving about it nonstop online. It's I mean, their their presence online lives on forever. Like they might die a week later, but their reviews and their the way that it changed their life, their soul, their spirit that lives on for you eternity. Know, it's really weird that you should phrase it like that because in the reviews, yeah. it actually describes that that's like one of the major themes in the film. You know that love, while driven by finite beings, is eternal. Like it's an eternal force in there. And man, it's just weird that like you you would be on that same page with them. I feel it's like the movie's in sync with me. Yeah, it's like it's like the movie's almost telling me like, hey man, you should watch it. You should watch the movie. You should. Okay, well, well, you should ignore that. You should ignore that impulse. Obviously, it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to ignore. I, I was told to listen to my gut, you know, and and listen to my heart and. That's kind of what I'm feeling. And that's kind of what the movie's saying. And I kind of want to follow that. I kind of want to follow my heart. I mean, life is short, man. Life life is really, really, yeah. really short. You don't want to Yeah, life is not seven days short. It's short though. It's very short. It's not life that life. short. It's not like a week long though. It, it's short though. It's it's not long. Life is not, no one has ever said that life is long. Hey, Matt, I feel like you're sort of pulling away from the point I was trying to make with this whole call, which is not to watch the movie. Okay, you know what? You're doing a really bad job of this because now I really want to watch this movie. No, okay. don't watch the film, I'm Matt. not it's going not to. Your life. I'm not going to. I don't want to die, okay? Good, good. I will say The Ring actually did come in the box with it. Am I allowed to watch this? You can if you want to. I mean, yeah, it's probably not going to kill you. Yeah, I, I probably won't bother because I've already seen The Ring. Like, and I, also too, I got to say, like when there is an actual movie where if you watch it, you die in seven days, it makes the movie about that seem like a little less exciting. It's not as fun, you know? It's not as thrilling. It's like oh. someone puts a button right in front of me and says, do not push this button. All I want to do is push it now. Yeah, so. and if they put one next to it that says, you can push this button, would you want to push that? Not really. I would right? fucking hate that button. I would not stand, I could not stand for it. Let's not just promise me you're going to throw the movie away. You're not going to think about it, okay? I, I, I cannot 
hang up this Zoom call thinking that you're going to like do something that you're going to regret in seven days. Listen, you, you're doing a really bad job of making this sound like a bad movie. You got to you got to try and make this sound really unappealing. I think that's what you got to do. OK, you got to try and make this sound like a horrible piece of crap so that I don't want to watch it. OK, OK, I, I can do that. I can absolutely okay. do that. OK, let's do it. <clears throat> Let's hear um, it. the directing is just like, oh my God, uh, getting your vision across so that it like really permeates the audience and they feel like they're inhabiting the perspective of the characters. Like you make the, the narrative flow like a river. What? That's, I don't want to be wet while I'm watching a, a film and oh my, okay. So, um, um, Scarlett Johansson playing a cactus. Come on, getting out of her comfort zone and really like addressing social issues via metaphor and simile. <laughs> Come on, cactus is really the heart of the story when you think about it. Um, shines like a diamond lost in a sea of stars. Oh. I'm not. I'm not doing this. Anymore. No, you're not doing it. That's not good. All right. Can you at least tell me like they did something bad about this movie? Like they did something bad. They like they like hurt animals or something. So that I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to support that movie. There is one thing. I, I just remembered there is one thing. Okay. In one yes. of the shots, uh, there is a coffee cup that one of the workers left in like one of the shots. You can see it in the corner. Actually, now that I think about it, the coffee cup actually symbolizes a lot of trauma that the character was going through in that scene. And it sort of speaks to how... He keeps trying to outrun his past, but he keeps trying to catch up to him. So, dang it! What a great film! Oh, <sighs> you know, Patrick. <sighs> I've lived a good life. What? I have twenty-two years. Done a lot of good things. No, 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 no! Don't say that. Went to university. Made some good YouTube videos. Read some nice. books, saw some good movies. But if this movie explains the meaning of life to me, like the back of the disc says that it will. It says that on the back. I'm thinking it might not be the worst way to go. No, 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 no. You don't mean that, Matt. You, you don't mean that. <sighs> nope. Sarah Paulson is in this film and she plays a giraffe. No, come come back to me, buddy. No, nope. where are you going? John Hamm plays a cowboy with robotic legs. No, no, don't you put this on my conscience. Matthew? Cowboy Cyborg. Madison? Harry Matt. Styles did the soundtrack. Mickey Matt Mutton? Sir Maticus? Don't you dare let that be your last battlefield. Matt? Damn. Lost another one.